What's up you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's Annie here. Today, as you can tell by the description, we are doing a leg workout. So we're going to be sculpting those inner and outer thighs as well as those quads and those hamstrings. So yes, the whole shebang here in this video. I'm going to need you to grab a band because we are going to be using a band today as well as a set of heavy weights. So don't be shy when it comes to weights. I want you to go heavy. A lot of people think that if you use heavy weights, you're going to bulk up those legs, but it's actually the opposite. If you use heavier weights, you're going to see those legs really tighten up and shrink down. So what do you say we jump right into it? All right, before we get into those three circuits, we're going to warm up that lower body. So we're going to start with backward lunges, right, then left. We got 10 on each side. Here we go. Right and left. Getting that blood flowing, those legs heated up. Halfway there. Three more on each side. Last one right here. Nice job. We're going to start with some RDL, so you're going to want to pick up your heavy weights. Working those hamstrings, take weights in either hand. Here's what we're going to do, slight bend in that knee. We're going to slowly bring those weights all the way down and back up, keeping that slight bend in our knee. We got 10. Let's go. You should feel a slight pull in that hamstring. Tighten those glutes as you come up. Halfway there, five more. Four, three more. Two, and one. Nice job. Put one weight down. Here we go, we're gonna go into some squats. Weight up, 10. How low can you go? Five more. Four, three, two, and one. Put that weight down. We got 10 jump squats. So we're gonna get low and push off. Here we go. 10. Five more, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Shake it out, pick up those weights. Back to those RDLs, slight bend in that knee, and bring those weights all the way down, sliding them down and popping back up. Sliding nice and slow, popping back up. Halfway there. Five more. Four. Nice job. Send those hips all the way back. Last one. And pop it up. One weight in the hand. Here we go. We're going to go into 10 squats. at the same time as those quads. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Back to those squat jumps. Here we go. Ten. This will get your heart rate up. Three. Two. One. Shake it out. Last round right here. RDLs, squats with the weight, and then squat jumps. Slight bend in that knee. Here's what it looks like from the side, just like this. There we go, roll it down. Squeeze those glutes on the way. Last 
to those squats. Here we go. Ten. Halfway there. Five more. Four. You should feel that breath pretty heavy right now. Last one. Weight goes down. Back to those squat jumps. We only have ten. Let's go. Band. I'm going to link the band that I use in the description box down below in case you want to know where to get it. I love this one in particular. So right around that upper quad area, you're going to do shoulder stance apart. We're going to put those hands on the hips and a little leg lift out. So you're going to really feel it in those glutes and the outer part of that upper thigh. There we go. We got ten of them, so five more. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Other side, ten. Slight bend in that knee, remember. I'm flexing my foot, if that helps. Five more. This is all also working that core because we're balancing two more. Side lunges, right and left, but first, 10 to the right. Let's go. So this is gonna work that inner thigh. The band is gonna work that outer thigh. Halfway there. So even as you drop it down, you're sucking in that core. Those abs are tight. Three, two, and one. Ten to the other side. Here we go. I always find with these, one side is definitely stronger than the other. more. Two more. Last one. Put that weight down. Last set of the circuit. There we 
go. Here we go. Shoulder stance apart. Hands on hips, slight bend that knee. 10. Really lift as high as you can. Keep those hips tucked under. Three, two, one. Nice job. Last one. Halfway. We got this. Three, two, one. Final set of those side lunges. To the right for 10. How low can you go? Five more. Two. And one. Nice job. Other side, last set. Stick with me. Three more. Two. And one. Take a little rest. Shake it out. Circuit number three. We're going into a sumo squat. So toes are pointed out. A big wide stance. Get that heavy weight in hand. We're gonna drop it down for 10. This is really how low can you sink. Squeezing those glutes on the way up. Last two, and one. Hang it out right here at the bottom. Little pulses for 10, for nine. So circuit three only consists of these sumo squats, so pick up that weight again. We're going right back into it. Big wide stance, toes pointed out. Let's drop it down for 10. Two more. And hold it down at the bottom for 10. Pulse it out for eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Push it up. Weight goes down. Whew. Shake it out. Roll those shoulders back. One final set. Back at it. Wide stance, toes pointed out. Let's sink it down for 10. Thank you so much for joining me. Leave comments down below of other workouts you want to see. Otherwise, we're doing an arm workout next. So I hope to see you next week for that. Have a great weekend. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to the beach this weekend. Bye, guys.